I hope you had a very happy Halloween out there. Now we're closing the books on October and rolling in to November. Here we go. So as we speak about last month, we were above average by about two degrees, making it the 30th warmest month that we've had for October's on record. Here we look back. We started off nice and hot, had a little cool down and a couple more heat waves that we were blasted with. Now, yesterday we had one of the warmest Halloweens that we have had in over 22 years. We came in at a high temperature of 68 degrees. The record warmest was 74 degrees that was set back in 1950. We had beautiful blue skies out there. All the kids were trick or treating in their costumes. You could see it. It wasn't covered up in a jacket because we were all in the low to upper 60s as our high temperatures. You ready to warm things up even more today? Because we are. Right now you wouldn't know because Antigo Mountain and Watoma, you are below freezing. You're flirting with the freezing mark into Clintonville. The rest of us in the upper 30s to low 40s as you head out the door this morning. A little crisp, a little cool. It's not very breezy because there are no winds in some places. We are seeing light patchy fog building in towards Green Bay and Sheboygan areas, but the rest of us look pretty good to go. Winds will stay out of the west and turn a little southerly as we head through tonight at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And overall, just a calm and quiet day today. Clear skies throughout the Fox Valley and Lakeshore. A few light clouds rolling through Clintonville Mountain and into Door County as well. We've dodged the main brunt of the fog that has moved off into Michigan and down and towards the Chicagoland area with the dense fog advisory. All of that is behind the system that's departing off into the east coast. You can see behind it giving them some eerie fog. Now we we have nothing but good news as we look off to the west. We have a high pressure down to the south. We have a low pressure that has to go up and north around it because that's how strong this is. All the meanwhile, it's just taking all of the warmth and funneling it right here into northeast Wisconsin. We'll take it, right? <laughs> Enjoy it while we have it because you know it's not going to last much longer. Highs flirting with 70 degrees today with basically no clouds in the sky. Here's what usually happens for the month of November. We start off with average highs of 50 degrees, so 20 degrees warmer today. By the time we wind down the month of November, our average high is 35 degrees, and you know that changes our rain over to snowfall, right? So speaking of precipitation, we usually get about two inches of that rainfall, and we're going to get a good chunk of it this weekend. In fact, this arrives late Thursday night and lingers until our Sunday with some of the heaviest rain expected on Saturday. So a wet weekend ahead of us, but it is going to stay on the rain side of things. Look what's going on as another low pressure spins up, bringing snowfall to Minnesota. That is not far away from us, Wisconsin. Let's talk about November snowfall. We usually get about three inches on average for this month. Here we go. Highs today, we're not even going to think about that S word climbing into those low 70s. Tonight, we're going to be crashing above freezing into the low 40s, upper 30s. And tomorrow, we're going to hit repeat one more time. It's just going to be a little bit breezier out there with gusts up to about 20 miles per hour at times. Then we're going to start to see that rain push on in by late Thursday night into your Friday, Saturday temperatures just continue to fall. That 62 is going to be at about midnight, one o'clock in the morning, and it's really going to be feeling like those low 50s throughout the rest of the day. And that's kind of when we're going to hold there to close out the weekend into the 50s. And I see some 40s in the future as well. So enjoy the 70s while we've got them still. I know it's like late September. <laughs>